Hi. Traditional chatbots as we know them are kind of redundant and uh, here's what's replacing them. Hey there, I'm Al. What brings you to Eleven Labs today? First time here or looking for something specific? You got the point. While most businesses are still using robotic uh, scripted chatbots that frustrate visitors, there's a new technology that actually talks to your website visitors like a real human being. I'm about to show you how to add voice AI uh, web widgets to any website. Uh, these aren't just chatbots. They are AI assistants that can have real conversations. They can even book appointments or uh, alert you when something important happens. By the end of this video, you know exactly how to set this up using your existing uh, VAPI, 11 Labs, or Retail keys. So let's dive in. Okay, so to get started, you would need a free Voice AI Wrapper account. Uh, just go to voiceairwrapper.com and sign up for our free trial. You can do that without actually needing a credit card. Uh, then uh, you can set up an account on either 11 Labs or VAPI or Retail. And then when you log into your Voice AI Wrapper account, you can add your uh, voice API provider keys using this uh, simple to use interface. Once you've done this, uh, you would go into your uh, API provider specific pod. And uh, we have this native built in functionality to create campaigns. So I'll head over to campaigns and uh, you can create an inbound campaign. Uh, which includes the web widget, which we are discussing today on this video. So I've already created an inbound campaign here. And as you can see, there's an option to add a web widget inside the campaign. So I'll head over to web widget. And then I have a lot of options to uh, customize my web widget. So if you are a business using this for yourself, you can add your own business logo, your uh, you know, welcome text, um, the, the color schema that you want to use on your website. And if you are an agency and you're creating web widgets for your clients, you can upload your client widget, uh, client um, logo. And then once you're done, you can just take the embed code and put it in your client's website. This embed code will be completely white label. Uh, Voice Air Wrapper also offers you the ability to add your own custom domain, which means there's uh, no mention of the underlying technology in the web widget that you're gonna add to your customer's website. So let's quickly go through the options available, the customized options available currently. So you can pick from a variety of uh, widget styles. And then the preview on the left gives you a quick preview. I've created one for our demo. Um, it shows you how the widget is gonna look like on your website. Um, you can change colors, uh, you can change the theme of the widget. Um, and there are a couple of um, animation types available uh, that you can choose from. Um, you can also decide what kind of radius you want, or what kind of a, a design structure you want for the widget. Uh, you can also go ahead and customize the greeting, uh, the CTA button text, and uh, you can also go ahead and modify the permission that you need to get from the user before you start interacting uh, using your voice AI system. Lastly, uh, but not the least is your legal consent. Uh, we recommend you always keep this enabled. Uh, it's it's required by law in most countries. And this is a consent that the user needs to consent to before they start interacting with your voice AI agent and they start processing all that information for you, right? So once you're done with this, all you need to do is click on update widget and then it is going to generate an embed code, which uh, I'm going to use on a dummy website uh, that I've just created and I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm going to take this embed code. I will head over to a dummy website, which I have created on my CMS framer. You can do it on any CMS provider. I'm using framer as a reference here. I, I take the embed code and I paste it here and I go ahead and uh, publish the, uh, the site. And now when I click on the site and uh, when the site loads, my widget just appears here. So if, if there was a visitor on my site, they can click on this and the widget will start uh, intercepting the conversation, answering the questions, so on and so forth. Yeah. Now, how do you train this widget? So everything that you are, uh, that you want the widget to answer is configured inside your agent. So um, let's say if you're creating a 
agent inside 11 labs or let's say VAPI, uh, you can add your knowledge base to your uh, VAPI or 11 labs or retail account. You can add the prompt to that specific assistant or agent, depending on the voice provider you use. And whatever you use uh, in the agent prompt and whatever knowledge base you feed it, that is going to be used by the agent uh, in the web widget to answer questions from uh, the visitor. Uh, another plus point is uh, once the widget starts intercepting conversations on your website, it is also going to uh, generate call logs. Uh, let me show you how it looks like. Okay, I am going to uh, enter a demo pod which we've offered in our uh, YCR Apper account. And uh, assuming that you were running, let's say, an uh, inbound campaign and you were capturing um, in incoming queries using a widget, you would see uh, detailed logs about who has been interacting with your widget. You will see their transcript. You'll also get the call recording. Plus, you will also get detailed analytics on your uh, website visitor traffic, your interactions, and if you want to track any conversion rates uh, using the widget, that is also going to show up as well. And that's pretty much how you transform your uh, website from a static page into uh, an interactive AI system. If you want to try it yourself, uh, I'm going to put the Voice AI Wrapper free trial sign up link in the video description below. There's no credit card required, just click sign up and start building. Um, hit subscribe if you want more videos and AI tutorials like this and drop me a comment. What industry do you think uh, Voice AI widgets would work the best for? Um, I read every single one. Thank you and looking forward to meeting you on the next video.